I'm Darren Marlar, and this is a Weird Darkness Bonus Bite. From the New York Post, Woman Names Newborn Son Methamphetamine Rules, Prompting Government Response, by Lexi Cartwright. Australian journalist Kirsten Drysdale is currently in a newborn bliss bubble, having recently welcomed her third child with her husband Chris. There's just one problem. Her son's legal name is Methamphetamine Rules. The New South Wales Australia Registry of Births, Deaths, and Marriages let the name slip through the cracks during the submission process, despite offensive terms being prohibited. A spokesperson told news.com.au they have since strengthened their system to avoid this happening again. Okay, mistakes happen, but why would Drysdale name her child Methamphetamine to begin with? The McKay-born TV presenter had been working on a story for the ABC's WTFAQ program which aims to investigate the answers to viewers' burning questions. The question, what can I legally name my baby, came up constantly. While researching the story, a then heavily pregnant Drysdale was trying to decipher what the registrar default names a child if the parent's first submission is rejected. She wasn't getting a clear answer from the government body's media team, and as she was about to give birth, Drysdale decided it was perfect timing to take the matter into her own hands. We thought, what's the most outrageous name we can think of that will definitely not be accepted, Drysdale said. Methamphetamine rules we thought would surely get rejected, and then when it does we can find out what the name the registrar chooses. It was really just a lighthearted, curious attempt to get an answer to this question. Imagine Drysdale's horror when her initial online submission listing her son's fake name was approved very quickly. Weeks later, Drysdale got quite the push present when the official birth certificate arrived in the mail with methamphetamine rules listed as her son's given name. I don't know how it slipped through, Drysdale said. I'm not sure if someone was overworked or if it was automated somewhere. Or possibly maybe they thought methamphetamine was a Greek name. They haven't really given us a clear answer. Thankfully, the registrar admitted it was a rare oversight, and Drysdale's son's real, normal name should be approved any day now. Baby Meth's real name, I'm not publicly disclosing it because I don't want it to be attached to this, she laughed. It's a beautiful name, and I can tell you it has nothing to do with Class A drugs. We think it'll be a very unique 21st birthday present to tell him this story. A spokesperson for NSW Births, Deaths, and Marriages said it had refurbished its process in the wake of the situation in a bid to ensure such names don't slip through the cracks. They added that names registered at birth remain on the register, forever, even if the name is formally changed. However, in this highly unusual circumstance, the registrar is helping Drysdale correct the name. The registry has since strengthened its processes in response to this highly unusual event. The vast majority of parents do not choose a name for their newborn baby that's obscene, offensive, or contrary to the public interest. As a general rule, names that are prohibited in most states and territories across Australia are ones that are offensive or contrary to the public interest. Swear words, sex acts, and slurs of any kind are also blacklisted, as are official titles such as doctor, queen, king, and prime minister. While there are clear restrictions, the individual registrars judge names on a case-by-case -case basis. Find the link to the original story along with photos in the show notes, and find more strange, funny, or disturbing news in the Weird News and blog at WeirdDarkness.com.